My name is Giles Tuck. I'm a creative consultant within um, our creative services department. Um, as the name suggests, we're, we're involved in all things creative, uh, supporting uh, primarily YouTube. Um, just, this is Brian Hennigan. He's also part of the team. Um, he will shout at me if I get things wrong or miss things out. I have no official responsibilities. Okay, that's fine. Um, so one of the things we do is we support the DSO sales teams here, um, helping to promote um, advertising properties across YouTube. Um, and one of the areas I get involved in is when we deal with big advertisers, um, we sort of try and help them um, reimagine their work as how, how, it, how it would translate from their normal advertising platforms onto YouTube. So we sort of do miniature um, advertising campaigns for them run across YouTube. Does that make sense? Okay. So um, what we've been asked to do, or I've been asked to do today, is um, talk about um, good brand channel design practices. So what we did, we just picked a handful out and we just thought we'd run through and just point out some of the um, sort of winning successful features, just things that we think make for good uh, brand channels. Do you want to uh, kick off? Um, so again, I don't know if any of you are gamers or uh, familiar with the EA brand, but they're the biggest independent games publisher in the world. Um, very good presence on YouTube. They're doing, they, they've, they've sort of really got to grips with it very quickly and understand what makes a good brand channel and what makes a good relationship uh, between the viewers and, and the company. Um, they do it both for marketing their own brand and also for promoting individual games and launches. Um, if you want to bring up uh, the page. So one of the things we sort of stress when we're talking about a successful brand channel is the um, relationship you want to have with the viewer. Um, it's not enough just to shove up your commercial or your advert onto YouTube and expect thousands of people, or millions of people, to view it and think your brand is fantastic. You've got to understand what the um, YouTube universe is about and the relationship you're going to have with viewers and, and well, indeed, whether you want to have a relationship with them. So one of the things we often say is, what is the conversation you want to have with the, the viewer? For example, um, we, we had a project recently where we were talking about um, air fresheners. And somebody's very interested in getting their air freshener onto YouTube. Now, that's not an immediate fit as far as we're concerned. So we have to think about how something as odd as that would translate well onto YouTube. So rather than stick on an advert for an air freshener, you have to ask what the audience and, you know, does on YouTube and how they respond well to things. So rather than put an ad up saying, this air freshener is great and wait for 12 million people to watch your advert, um, ask people to make their own uses for your air freshener or dress up as an air freshener or, you know, silly things like this, often the things that engage with people and understanding the way that your audience will respond to the questions you ask them and the responses. So in this example, EA understand um, they've got a good following, a good cult following for their games. Often pre-release information is very um, useful um, marketing tool for games companies. Gamers always want to know what the next game is coming out. They always want to know behind the scenes stuff, what weapons there are, what new features there are. EA are really good at this. They know this um, with all their games. If you ever see any of their games, first thing they do is tell you what the improvements are over last year's version of the game. So this is the partnership site. Very clear, very straightforward, very simple. Um, immediately you're hit here with some exclusive content promoting um, Command and Conquer. Red Alert has just come out. Um, behind the scenes stuff, interviews, all part of a larger sustained marketing campaign. Some of this stuff's being produced exclusively for YouTube, some of it is being made for their TV stuff. Often now they produce games with special editions, so it'll go on the extras DVD. This is a great place to get people interested in your product. Um, you'll see across the top here on the uh, partnership channel, direct link to the store, which is just brilliant if you're promoting and selling things directly like games. Um, and also what we have here, our three uh, premium channels. So if we have a look at Spore, for example, if any of you are familiar with Spore, um, this is a really nice sort of uh, um, life simulator god game. Um, and they did a wonderful bit of pre-release pre uh, publicity with uh, Spore. They released a thing called Creature Creator, which was a game. You could go in, use the tools to make custom monsters, and they're all animated, and they look really lovely. And as part of that demo on the PC, they gave you the option to download animations of your creatures direct onto YouTube. 
So this became a repository for tons of uh, user-generated content. Um, it's quite funny because most of it was rude. Um, one of the things people did when they had the chance was build quite obscene creatures. But you have to ask EA whether that was a successful marketing campaign or not. But I, I had a quick look earlier, and I think I counted 168,919 user-uploaded videos for this. That's a fantastic response to a brand channel. That many people not watching the videos, uploading videos. So if, say, each of those videos was watched even just 100 times, that is a huge number of views, all revolving around this particular game. This is a really successful use of a brand channel. Um, if we, have I covered the main things here, Brian? Uh, oh yeah, sorry, one of the main things, if we just pop back to the YouTube, uh, sorry, to the um, EA hub there. Another really important thing, I think, that makes this a particularly successful use of the YouTube space and brand channels by EA, this is a long-term campaign. They've not just got one game and said, let's shove it on YouTube. Um, this is a long-term strategy. They're making this core to everything they're doing at the moment. And this is really, really progressive thinking for a lot of companies. A lot of companies are just going, well, there's millions of people out there. Let's put stuff in front of them. And they're not thinking how they're going to maintain this. Unusually, this isn't skinned at the moment. Normally what EA do is when there's a big game coming up, they will, they will change the background skin here for whatever that main game is. And this is great because almost sort of every other time you come to the site, you're going to see new graphics. It's always reinforcing the idea this is a living site. It's not just some dusty videos hoping people will stumble on them. It becomes a resource for all of the EA activities online and as part of, as I said, um, a, a bigger marketing campaign. It's really useful to you know, change it, bring people back. As you see, these three links at the top, they're all separate game-specific ones. These are ones that have been so popular, they're worth having their own brand channel. And again, worth exploring the EA site. I highly recommend it. They're very good at this stuff. Um, okay, so we go to the next one. So again, keeping with the gaming theme. Again, I'm, there's no accident I've chosen some game ones as, as good examples. Um, you'll find the demographic for a lot of people using YouTube is almost identical to people using game consoles these days. Um, gaming as a market has changed considerably. It's no longer niche gamers. It's um, home entertainment. All the games companies now rebranding themselves as home entertainment. Um, you can now get YouTube uh, to the Nintendo Wii and the Sony PlayStation 3. Um, it's, there's an enormous amount of crossover here. So, Again, Sony doing a really good job. They're a little later to this than, than EA, but they're doing a really good job. If you go into the uh, site. So, a little stark, quite corporate, but again, you'll see on the right-hand side here, we've got links out, just like the EA one. They've gone for links to specific um, game-related channels. Straight in with some nice, high-quality video. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. I don't know. Ch Gran Turismo uh, 5 there, if you click on that one with the Audi, there you go. So immediately you'll see at the bottom of the video here, watch in HD. So if we click on that, again, one of the main things with these gaming platforms is they all present everything in beautiful HD. Um, unfortunately, you can't really see the best of this in the, with the projector, but um, great use of the HD facility in YouTube is, up, is, is showing your HD footage from your gaming system. It's really simple, but they've, you know, they've gone this way with all of their uh, video content now. Everything looks great, which, you know, part of the video game uh, campaign is selling good graphics. It's a, it's, a, it's a good fit on YouTube. Um, if we go 